Yo, what is up guys? Joker bringing you another video for Pal World. In this video, I'm going to show you how to breed another super cool, really useful pal. That being a Wumpo Botan. Um, essentially, I do not believe there's actually anywhere besides potentially one of the pal reservations where you can actually get a Wumpo Botan, right? Yeah, he's at one of the reservations, so it'd be a really low chance to actually find him there. But the reason why you want this Totoro-looking motherfucker is because he's actually pretty much a direct upgrade to uh, Masanda, right? Because... Because he shares a lot of the same traits, except for he has transporting four and lumbering three, right? So he can either be a fantastic wood gatherer for you or a fantastic transport unit. Plus, I mean, just look at that face. How could how could you not want one of these, right? I mean, he also has handiwork two and a planting one. So overall, he just does a ton of stuff. Um, if you get to the point where uh, you get, I think it's level 45. I, I need a grind and level up. But at level 45, you can get his saddle. And essentially what that does for you is it's an upgraded uh, version of the Kativa, right? Where while he's on your team, he increases your carry capacity. Since I don't have the saddle unlocked right now, I'm going to say that where the Kativa gives you plus 50, he's either going to give you plus 100 or more carry weight, right? I mean, just look at this big guy, dude. And the little, the little leaf hanging out of his mouth is just so amazing. So let's actually get into how you breed this guy. So to breed this guy, it's actually relatively simple with some really early game pals that you can find. You can find both of these super early. I want to say under level 20, right? So it is a really fast way to get an end game pal. And we're going to be breeding a Sweepa with a Surfant, right? Uh, I've already shown where you can get Surfant, but I'll go ahead and show it one more time. So if we come over here, right, to the uh, uh, sealed realm of the sword master right near this Bond Cherry Aqua, you're going to come to this little alcove right here. And the cool part about this is the fact that there is usually tons of surfants here, right? There's one there. There should be some over here. Yeah, uh, there's a couple here. And then uh, Totoro actually uh, murdered a few a second ago, right? Um, you can see their dead bodies. And this makes it super easy to actually farm for trades, right? Because there is so many of these in such a condensed location. Look, there's another one over there. There's another one over there. There, There's just so many of these that you can literally just run around throwing pal spheres at all of them and be able to farm for traits that you would like super easily. Uh, the next part of this is going to be the sweepa, right? The, the thing that looks like a fuzzball, essentially. And for the sweeper, you're going to want to come over here to the, um, f what, I guess free pow tower? No, and what's this one called? I can't, tell me. You want to come to this ice mountain here that's not too far from the sealed realm of the swift, right? You want to come here for several reasons because this is actually the mountain where you're able to find, uh, what is it, Kitsune uh, at nighttime as well. In case you don't know, Kitsune is literally almost exactly what it is in folklore, where it is a fox. There we go. Oh, I guess it's just Kitsune, right? This little fox looks super fucking badass, and it can be found on this exact same mountain at night. Um, same thing with the uh, fox sickle, right? Which is another pal that is literally just like a frozen, beautiful fox. Uh, Foxicle, there we go. Um, 
So you get a lot of cool pals here anyways, and you want to go ahead and uh, capture pretty much almost everything on this mountain, actually. There's just so much good stuff here that you want to make a lap during the day and a lap at night because you're going to find so many either cool or very useful strong pals here, as well as this Siblix right here actually has the ability of when you put it in a ranch, it will produce high quality uh, cloth for you naturally, right? Which is super, super powerful. You want to farm a few of these. And once you get two, you're able to pretty much go infinite on them, right? So this is a very, very, very good mountain in my opinion. It's just full of such good resources and good pals that you definitely want to stop by. You want to make sure that you do have freeze resistant armor, right? The cold resistant armor though. Uh, otherwise you will freeze rather rapidly. Uh, I have a little bit of overkill because I have the thermal undershirt plus it. So I literally don't take any cold damage at all, regardless of how cold it is. But let's go ahead and start hatching our eggs so I can show you that this pair actually works. Okay, so I have may have gone a little bit overboard while I was recording the previous segments and I was not really expecting to have this mini wampo botan but if anything they're going to be a fodder to feed into each other plus now that we know that one of the factors that goes into breeding is a predetermined pal power um Wampo Botan being a more end game pal is definitely going to assist us and oh hey I hit level 43 um is definitely going to go ahead and assist us in other breeding combinations as well because not only do we have the potential of the good traits now to pass down to children like as you've seen we've hit diet leveler diet lover a couple of times as well as we've hit swift and we've hit artisan so now we have the ability of breeding those on to pretty much any pal that wampo Boltan can be the parent of right so let's hatch these eggs and pretty much get all of our all of our wampo botan out um i love this dude's name um get all of our wampo botan out and see how many we actually ended up with i probably have more than 15 at this point Ooh, stronghold strategist diet lover i actually got some decent traits out of these so let's go Wampo Botan. And they just, honestly, they just look so cool in my opinion. The fact that it's just this big, um, what is it? It's not really yokai. Well, I guess it is kind of yokai, but it reminds me of like something I have seen before. I mean, besides Totoro. Um, but, oh yeah, we definitely have more than 15. Oh God. This probably should have been the thumbnail. I, I, uh, eh. I wonder if I go ahead and I go over here and I say build. Let's see if we can get everyone to gather over here. Oh my god, that's kind of terrifying. Uh, I kind of want that as a screenshot. Oh, they all smiled. Stay like that. Oh, I need, I need to get that as a screenshot. That's probably going to be the thumbnail. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave down in the comments what you want to see next. I do have a list. I'm still working my way through. And we do have this resource right here of the spreadsheet out now where you can go ahead and find combinations for every pal in the game i'm still going to bring bringing out the videos because like i mentioned in the previous video it's a lot easier to be told what to do than have to do the research yourself right because if you do it on your own you would still have to find where to get the pals and everything but yeah that's pretty much it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content and until next time take care